going on Madden 19 players it's your boy skateboarding and skates on a live broadcast um, I want to welcome all you guys man for you know watching the channel I'm gonna wait to this uh, feed get up a little bit I know it's a Thursday and uh, a lot of you guys man probably at work a lot of you cats man are you know probably at school whatever the case may be I'm gonna need you to take some time stop whatever you are doing and come into this channel and check out how easy it is all right in my opinion on how easy it is using no glitch plays no glitch cheese none of that this pure skill was in the game to help you how to defend all right I'm going to actually show you using random defenses on how to defend in this game so you will no longer need to be using one play that's a, a crazy blitz a nano blitz and just feel deep down inside like, man, I only beat this guy because, you know, I use this play from uh, this channel or that channel. You know what I mean? I don't feel the need to name drop today. I just appreciate all y'all for taking the time out to come check me out. Um, first things first, man. Let's get right into it. Um, I will be the 49ers, okay? Now, as I'm getting started, there's a couple things that I want to show you guys that's going to help you, all right? Now, you know when you are up in a regular game, you know what I'm saying, it's going to have coaching adjustments, and um, as guys start funneling in watching the video, I'll be sure to try to go back up over this, and if y'all got any questions, man, y'all just make sure y'all hit me up, and uh, I'll try to answer those accordingly. Y'all know everybody that write me, I always write back, so make sure y'all do the same and just hit me up, but uh, I always have my SWAT animation on at all times. If you're playing man to man, um, I like to be in that uh, overall, or I like to have the best route running defense defenders out on the field. But there's also a couple things that I do look at as far as uh, my depth chart. Uh, depth chart is always the trickiest part when setting up. To me, there's a couple teams that are better at certain things than other teams y'all know with my channel man i don't give y'all that cheese i'm just giving y'all real football concepts what up dre bug what's good with you pippin um with this channel man because i'm i'm a former football coach man i'm football oriented man i'm concept oriented so most of the things man we're in our own way you know what i'm saying we we tend to you know what i'm saying um go with what's being shown we conform to our environment we see a lot of players out here just trying to send blitzes and they're cheating the game they're not really getting they're doing it why why doesn't the blitz come in all the time or if the blitz come in why doesn't it come in when i block a running back simple things that they should be able to give you in understanding but they don't do that for you on any other channel but this channel man i am trying to get to the madden player i'm trying to get to you guys so y'all understand that everything that I've shown you since I started this channel in Madden 17 can still work today. My channel's legit. It's all for you. Dub, what's good with you, bro? But let's get right into it, man, because I don't want to get you guys, like I said, most of y'all at work. Y'all got shit to do, and I'm going to try to keep it light. But uh, I always look at my cornerbacks, all right? And there's a couple things. Tyrone, what's up? Hey, what's up, Havies? What's up, boy? Um, good luck with the season this year, man, by the way. There's a couple things that I look at for cornerbacks. And with those cornerbacks, man, I look at strength, okay? Strength is very important. If you are a man-to-man -man user, understand why strength is important. Strength is going to hold those, you know, wide receivers at the line of scrimmage. So when you're jamming them, when you're pressing, and you see yourself getting burnt off the line of scrimmage, Israel was good. This is why you're getting burnt because most of you guys are like this, like, Akilah Willis with a spoon. He has 56 strength. He ain't holding a fucking grass. He ain't holding grass down. You know what I'm saying? So what you need to do is you always need to look at the depth chart and see who's your strongest, you know, you know, players to attribute on what you're going to do in your scheme. That's a lot of the, you know, the problem with half of us, man. We do not go about it in a full breakdown. If you're going to be a football coach, no football. Know how long the field is. Know how, you know, what 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 does, you know, certain yards do to, you know, players? What what, what is, um, you know, what type of end zone effects does it have when you're up in, you know, your your opponent's home crowd? And, and your, that didn't make no sense. I'm so excited to tell y'all this, man. I'm, I'm going through my words and fumbling. And it's like, 
just know your surroundings, know your environment. If you can know your environment, bro, I'm telling you, you will be a better Madden player. Know your role, know your game, know your players. All right. So what I'm saying is right here, we're looking at Richard Sherman. He's 79 strength. Him and uh, Brian Maxill are the strongest two corners in this game. Maxill is up on the Seahawks and Richard Sherman is clearly up on the 49ers. So if you go ahead and you look at this, you want to partner Richard Sherman up with somebody else who has the highest uh you know, strength. So I would go with Greg Mabin. All right. Even though he's, you know what I'm saying? He's not the best of the best, but he's six foot two. He's 88 speed and he got some good agility. So I would put him right where, you know what I'm saying? Richard Sherman. He's going to be my number two. And listen, man, I know it ain't the same no more, man. That was not by my choice. You know what I'm saying? I got to talk to the coaching staff. Um, nothing but respect to those guys. I hope that they get y'all to where y'all need to be. And it's all love to my Bulldog family. Uh, shout out to West Dallas Central. You know, some of these guys that you see up on my timeline right now, they're former players and they know how I coach. And I, I miss those guys every day and I love them. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I had a lot of things going on this year, man. So it's it's kind of working. Everything is working itself out. But um, I'm going to definitely come check y'all out at practice so y'all better be ready for them hands. Um, Webster, I'm going to definitely check out 236 because all of this, bro, is is definitely, you know, working hand by hand as far as what I'm talking about right now. What I want to point out is what you will really need. It's not about overall. It's not about speed always. It's about these core things when you're dealing with defense, strength, all right, agility. How quick can your, your cornerback be able to turn his head at a drop of a dime? You know what I mean? When you got guys who like to hit you with out routes, you want to be able to get there and turn. What's up, John Rock? You want to be able to turn back, you know what I'm saying, and be able to make those cuts, you know, precisely. You know what I mean? What this guy lacks in speed, he makes up for in acceleration if you look at it. He's 91 excel, but he's 88 speed. So he's going to make that up, bro. All right? So you don't even need to always hold R2. I told y'all that last year, and they finally took it out the game so y'all can understand it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. What's next? Awareness is always good, but I don't even think that that's, you know, something that I need to be really harping on the next two things is going to be the biggest thing when you're looking on defense depending on your scheme all right you need to go ahead and look at play rec all right play rec is very very vital all right richard sherman has a 93 play rec that's where Madden lacks but understand his man coverage rating will help him in that all right when you're playing man coverage and you have that strength remember i'm going to be pressing all right so when you're pressing this is going to keep guys up on the line. They can't get past. So that's going to allow your your middle linebackers to actually get through the line of scrimmage. Carl, what it do, bro? You got my name. So, hey, man, that's all I love. And I'm glad that you're up in the backfield now, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm glad that you're up in the backfield. Um, Again, y'all got to remember, man, I'm, I'm still – I'm a former coach, so I got a lot of my players, man, hitting me up on here as well. So – you know, I'm just trying to make sure that I hit my skateboarding and skates fans as well as my old former team players. And, you know, it's it's crazy, man. But man coverage, play wreck. All right. And then. Hold on. What did you say, Ardos? You said, really? Strength, number one and cornerback. Yes. Strength. Strength, bro. I'm telling you now, if you don't believe me, try running man defense with the Atlanta Falcons, even though true font. And uh, I forgot that other that other guy's name. What's uh what's dude name? The other cornerback uh for the uh 49ers. I mean not 49ers, uh Falcons. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But they both fast, but they both got like 56 strength. So they never can really press good. You know what I'm saying? True Fun got some he got some press, but I think it's at like I think it's like 60 or something like that. You know what I mean? He's not he's not gonna be deadly as a Richard Sherman holding you at the line. I don't know if y'all caught that press conference from Richard Sherman. Alfred, thanks, Ali, man. I appreciate that. But I don't know if y'all caught that press conference from Richard Sherman where he said, you know, yeah, I got burnt in practice, but how many times are you going to see me get burnt in game? That was the most telling, you know, comment that came from Richard Sherman. Meaning in 99% of the time, Richard Sherman is going to win that battle. I don't know if y'all know the game, all right? Crazy white boy, what you missed, man, was me just telling what you really need when running man-to-man -man defense. That was strength, play recognition, 
and man coverage itself, all right? Because a lot of the times, man, we like to think speed is what's going to help us, all right? Speed is great to have if you're getting burnt. It's a way not to get burnt. All right. And again, I know most of you cats, man, y'all on the job, y'all at school or some type of, you know, you got your old lady around. She telling you get the hell off the game. You guys can actually take what I'm saying in consideration and use it for yourself. I'm not giving you no cheese. I'm not giving you no, no setups, no blitzes. I don't do that here. I'm a football minded guy. I'm a coach at all times and understand I'm trying to teach you guys the way of football. Donnie, what it do, bro? Now, this game is very hard to use her in this year. So I'm going to have to really come up with a new technique Is my three shuffle, five yard back pedal does not work as well in this game. It's like they literally is retarded, man. And no offense to any of my, my friends and fans up on here that have anybody in the you know mental state of mind of children. That's not what I'm saying. Y'all know what I mean. I've been trying to work up on my, my swearing and all that stuff. For people who are watching who may be underage. So I'm trying to, you know, be viewer friendly here. All right. So let's get into it, man. Because I know y'all like, man, this guy is talking, 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 bro. All right. I'm going to use any defense. It doesn't matter. All right. I promise you, it does not matter. The concept that I'm going to give is going to help no matter what. So I'm I'm just going to start off in 3-4-I. This is everybody's favorite. And then I'm going to work my way down. All right. And if y'all got anything of any man defense that y'all want to see, just list it down below and I'm going to give you the same concept and I'm going to tell you the main key that you need in order to be successful on man defense. All right. Sometimes we will get beat. Sometimes we will be, you know, ran on. But that's football. That's life. At this play, my channel is not to show you how to break the game and make it unfun for everybody. It's simply how to use the actual concept of man defense and be able to dominate with it. So we're going to go up and cover two man simple enough right go up and random play let them come out anything run pass whatever i'm gonna hold this down just so they don't hike the ball first things first y'all see how crabtree and richard sherman is lined up right the first thing that i want to do all right at all times is hit triangle and r1 on xbox if y'all xbox users please you know just understand everything that i'm saying for playstation is the same for you guys just different lingo i'm not, i don't have a xbox controller around so i don't know what the hell to tell y'all um yeah that 335 cover one still works everything will still work if you got anything off my channel it still works <laughs> because i'm teaching concepts i don't teach cheese you know what i'm saying um i also will be dropping offense later but uh let's get right up into it first thing that i do is triangle r1 for mana line the number one rule in this game now this year is that you always have to protect the sticks. All right. If you're on, up in zone, if you're in man, whatever, protect the sticks. So those deep blue routes that are in zone actually play their zones. So we're going to hit triangle and then we're going to hit L1 that protect the sticks. All right. Now, the next step is so key is so vital. Everybody. and I know everybody. What up, Pat? Everybody miss out on this every time when they're running man defense and it's simply holding triangle x for individual then you want the icon of the receiver square and then i'm going to shade you gotta shade in this game bruh if i'm gonna if i'm playing the middle i'm gonna shade to the outside you see how richard sherman moved to the outside now then i'm gonna do the same thing for circle i'm gonna play circle out to the left and then i'm gonna play x to the inside my job as the user is going to be anything in the inside i'm going to play Pat, I'm telling you, man, I'm trying to break all this down for y'all because y'all make it so dang going hard. No, don't baseline twice right now. We're not even thinking about baseline, John, because what I was thinking is that you actually have to baseline. But what I'm realizing is you only have to baseline if you're using zone. You feel me? Man align if you're in man. Kind of common sense, right? And a lot of us, man, we do not think about it. What up, Corey? I'm telling you, Chargers have one of the best teams. The Patriots, if y'all look at the Patriots defense this year, bro, they got two cornerbacks that have 95 speed, bro. Y'all don't think, bro, this was unprecedented when I looked at it, bro. Two cornerbacks that I believe is, uh, what the hell is that one dude name? Anyway, they got two cornerbacks, man, that is at 95 speed. So you would never have to worry about getting burnt. If you plan a guy that loves to use, um, like, um, what the hell is that the chiefs with tyreek hill or the Bengals with uh ross man you got that covered up 
Um, L1 does not work as effective as it did last year, bro. So this year, we really got to get up on it. And that's why I wanted to show y'all my first defensive video. We're using pure skill. All right? We're just using pure skill and just making defensive adjustments that you won't need L1. All it is is you're going to use common sense. So if you just tuned in, what I just told y'all to do is hit triangle R1 for man align. If you're in man defense, make sure you man align. We do not base align in man defense. All right. Steelers is also great, Demario. He Steelers are great. Any team can be great. All right. But what I'm telling you is if they have teams who have better cornerbacks as strength tend to be the best man-to-man -man type of teams you feel what i'm saying so understand you can whatever you eat won't make me crap but what i'm saying to you is you can make any team you know all-star team but it's up to you but let me get right back into this because i really want, want to show you how to break down how to shut all this stuff down by doing these these clean set, setups all i did was i put triangle man line triangle l1 for protect the sticks that helped the two zones in the back play their zones efficiently next i'm going to go ahead and do my individual coverages that means i'm going to put crabtree and uh richard sherman i'm going to put at triangle x square all right that's now for crabtree i'm going to shade outside to the right why am i shading outside to the right because i'm going to play the middle so that means anything going to the right like out routes and shit like that Richard Sherman is going to have that clamped, bro. We're not playing that. All right. Also, do not forget about the running back in the background. All right. Because he's in a backfield, bro, you can also put him on shades. So imagine him swinging or the play action fix. We're going to easily go like this. Triangle X, R1, and we're going to shade to the right. Triangle again, X, triangle to the left. Let's just say he's going to the left. The other guy's going to the right. All right. Pick your poison. But either way it go, we got it all clamped. And all you want to do, if you want to take this guy that's on a blitzing angle, I love four down lineman. You can easily put him up on a nice uh, hook zone like so. Vertical hook. And that was simply X. And then down on the left D-pad. And then what you're going to do, you're going to see me go ahead and play the middle like this. That's it. It's the same thing, bro. Broncos as well. Now let's go ahead. Let's watch this. I'm going to play the middle of the field. You see how I'm playing it? And everybody's locked. Then I send it with R3. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. There is no cheese needed. Every channel that tells you, I got this fire blitz. I got this dago. Um, tell them to go live. Tell them to go live, bro. Y'all know me, man. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sell you a dream, dog. I, I showed you guys plays, bro. I'm telling you. Yes, the Lions, man. Listen, I'm not going to fade you, bro. I'm t I just showed you. The first play, dude just threw the ball out. <laughs> Let's do it again, man. And this time, I'm not going to say nothing. I promise you. Even against the run, just watch. Triangle, R1. Triangle, L1. All right? Then, I'm going to do individual steps. I want square to the outside. I want circle to the outside. I want my inside. I want boil, inside coverage. I want triangle, inside coverage. I'm going to take my running back and I'm going to go outside coverage and I'm going to play my middle linebacker my outside linebacker just like this and I'm going to play it left to right left to right everybody's locked up again bro that's the second time that that doesn't happen now that's the second time and you guys are watching this live I'm not look I'm not going to fake you out I'm not going to play these games with y'all, man. I, I don't know what else I can do to prove to you cats, man. What are we on, man? Uh, game options. I don't know how to do. All Madden, competitive, all that stuff. Everything is normal. It's on 50 on how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? I got uh my, my switch assist on just in case if the ball is in the air. I need help as far as sometimes being able to click on that guy and I don't lose position. That's an automatic that you have on. You know what I'm saying? These are all things that are normal settings, so there's no bullshit coming y'all way. Y'all see it how it is. It's all Madden, comp competitive mode. This is how I get down, all right? We only use the best around here. And I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it. But y'all y'all so used to getting that quick fix. Y'all got to quit making these, these other YouTube channels. Y'all dealers, bro. Y'all got to start questioning the product, dog. I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you right now. These other channels, man, are steering y'all the wrong way. They not teaching y'all football. They teaching y'all crap. 
They teaching y'all how to lose y'all money through a PayPal because y'all get so damn desperate to beat y'all best friend in the game of Madden that y'all will go out and try to cheat him by going to find it, find an easier way. Y'all, y'all, y'all got to knock that off, man. Y'all got to knock it off because I'm telling you, this is the best way to do it. And it's legit and it's pure, simple tactics. Y'all see how I'm lined up right now? I'm, I'm not even, I'm not going to base a line. This is how it looks if I base a line. Triangle over. Now look, I'm losing a cornerback, but now they put a, a linebacker up on Crabtree. That's, that's not the right you know setup that's not the right scheme that I want that's not a good fit for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put man a line he comes back now I got a corner on Crabtree all right yeah it's always going to be real content Corey I told y'all man I don't play this game man with these other guys man they can they can keep lying to y'all and y'all can keep on subscribing to the channel make sure you hit the like icon and bell icon and da 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 y'all man y'all y'all so damn geeked over these dudes and y'all put these dudes on a pedestal but not one time do they show y'all you know what i'm saying they in game footage why don't why don't we see these guys in the madden tournaments you understand what i'm saying bro mav what's good crazy white boy what's good why don't y'all ever ask these questions bro i'm giving y'all the gold why I haven't lost up on live y'all saw me lose y'all saw me win y'all saw me come back it doesn't matter how many times I lose this what am I teaching y'all you feel me and what I feel like if I can't teach y'all something if I can't play you at your best bro and beat you then I wasn't I was never good I don't want to beat everybody every damn game I want to lose because then that lets me know that I got something to work on you feel me? But these other guys, these other channels, man, they trying to tell you, yeah, man, you can use this play all day, every day. But they don't tell you, man, once you block a running back, the blitz don't come in. That's nonsense, man. We call, we got to start calling these guys out. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, if y'all want to continue to keep on subscribing to them, buying ebooks and stuff like that, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> let's, let's do it again, man. So triangle R1, triangle, protect the sticks. All right, that's L1. I'm holding down, you know, L2 just so I don't get the computer to go. But again, we got Brown one-on-one -on -one with Richard Sherman. Y'all see how he's lined up inside. I'm now going to move Richard Sherman to the outside. Watch. Boom. X. Circle. Shade to the right. Richard Sherman moved his little ball head ass over. All right. Crabtree. I'm going to play him to the outside as well. All right. Boom. He's moving over. All right. Next. I'm going to now look at my tight ends. R1. I'm going to play him to the left. Boyle, I'm going to play him to the left, right? Then I'm going to play Collins. I'm going to play Collins to the left because I, I figure this is like it's the strong side to the left. So more than likely, he'll be running his uh, he'll be running a counter to the left or power to the left or he'll do a play action to the left. Reason why I go to the outside, and that's a good question, Ardos, is because I'm playing the middle. So nine times out of ten, if you want to throw to the middle to my user, I'm going to pick you off. And at least I know that the outside is covered up. The CPU got my back. You got to allow your players to do their job. That's why half of the time y'all get burnt. Y'all get beat off the break because y'all don't allow the CPU to do their job, bro. So that's why I'm playing everything to the outside and I let it all work into the inside. And then I also got protect the stick. So my zones in the backfield, they're not going to let anything go over the top without being doubled. So I'm not worried about getting beat over the top, bro. Just watch what I'm telling you, all right? I'm going to play this guy right here all the way to the left to about to the 30. And then I'm going to swing that shit back over to the right to the right hash mark, all right? To the left hash mark. And I'm going to sit and watch how everything plays. Yes, it stops out routes. I'm telling you. I promise you that. If you want me to go up in this game and, and manually show you me stopping out routes, I'll do that next. It's not a problem. But I'm going to put him up on a vert hook. You don't got to. You can put him on a spy or whatever. But always have three down defensive linemen rushing. All right. You never want two because then you'll get pancaked. All right. Let's go. Come on now, Flacco. Play to the left. Play back here. That's cool. That's fine. I overplayed that going to the middle. I played that going to the middle. Here we go. Oh, they, they hurried up and uh, quick snap me. Them bastards. But that happens, man. And what you guys are looking at, man, yes, it will be hard sometimes to get all these plays. I mean, these uh, these signals to be called, these adjustments to be ran in. It does. But once you get the, the routine right, you get up in practice mode, you try it out, bro, for yourself. I promise you, man, it will. Yeah, let me go ahead and let me go to these out routes real fast for our DOS. All right. 
we're going to use the same tactic. Actually, we can go up in the uh, nickel because I told you I wanted to go down the line. Uh, we can go cover two man right here. I love 335 wide. All right. I love this. All right. So we can go here because it's a good run stopper. And it's also, you know, you got a nickel slot uh, slot corner in here. So we'll go here. Let's try to find if they have anything of an out route. So our dogs can see how we can just shut that down. Oh, there it is. We can go PA deep outs. That suffice right there, bro. That's good for you. PA deep outs. And it's a play action upon it. So, okay. What I would do is I'm going to hit triangle, man line, triangle, protect the sticks. I'm going to do my shading here. Uh, let me go to triangle. I'm going to shade him to the inside. And then I'm going to play Smith. All right. Oh, my bad. I got to play him there. R1 to the outside, maybe. And we'll just go like this. And let's just see how this go. And I'm going to play my vert. I'm going to play him, boom, here, and then over here. And it is going to essentially end with me like this. All right? That's how it's going to look. All right, let's get it. Come on, Flacco. And again, because it's not the same, same tactics or same scenario, you see I'm in the area. If I got that damn jump on the ball, bro, I'm going to make that pick all the time. I'm going to make that pick. No matter what, what's being shown, I'm going to be there up in that area. You move around. That's one. And that wasn't me. That's CPU. That's CPU. I want, I want that to be known. That's not me. That's CPU. But the same thing works the same way. I'm telling you. There is no out routes that can beat you. It's only you that beats you, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all that. It's only you that beat you. You beat yourself. Uh, let me put this down here, and that's it. Play to the outside. And the guy that you're using, you know what I'm saying? Be able to, you know what I'm saying, um, put the fastest linebackers in up in play. Right now, I'm using Ruben Foster, Malcolm Smith. I should have those adjustments made before I get out there. You want your fastest linebackers, all right? The only thing that matters, honestly, are the cornerbacks. As long as you don't get those out routes, you know what I'm saying, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at how am I covering these out routes? How am I stopping these out routes? Let me get up over here. You can also do something like this, where you could put Malcolm up on a hard flat, right? And then you can actually user one of the guys on the line of scrimmage. And as long as you're usering him and leave him up in his blitz angle, you can still engage and then disengage and play the middle of the field like this. I'll show you. Pull back like that. Some people call that fag D, all that shit. But as you see, it's effective. You know what I'm saying? We can do it again. We go man align, protect the sticks. And I'm about to end this video real soon because I think y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, I just did this for our DOS so he can see that it's, it's not as hard as uh, he thought. Hold on, my fault. They had, man, they had put me up uh, against somebody that I wasn't supposed to be. All right, so boom, boom, boom. All right, and now I'm going to disengage with the line of scrimmage and I'm going to gonna play the uh, back of the field just like so. Boom. I pull back. Now I'm playing the middle of the field. And now there's somebody up in this area. There's somebody up in this way. Nine times out of ten. Again, the in-game uh, adjustments are also different that you can do. You can easily, you know, put the, the aggressive tackling on. You can put SWAT animations. There's different things that's going to help. So trust me, just because you see him get catching the ball up in this. All right. Up in practice mode. I promise you, you will easily be able to stop that in game with your in game adjustments. All right, with this cover, uh, cover tight end streaks. Let's find out. Let's find out. Listen, bro, this is for y'all. I'm doing this for you. So anything y'all want to see, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me know what you want to see, dog. Let's go to big here. I'm gonna go to this cover too, man. And I'm see Leandro Barbosa. What's up, bro? Listen, I'm not I'm not really feeling zones this year. I'm not really feeling zones this year because they got it crazy on how to use her. The user mechanics are so all off the wall, bro. I don't use zones unless I'm sending a blitz, bro, to be honest with you. 
that's that's the number one why would i send a blitz it's only to make sure that i have coverage behind me when i am sending people to come down and blitz you that's what zone is used for all right and i don't that's why i say like most of these other channels man they tell y'all yeah use this blitz and they just send y'all out there you know to the wolves and be like yeah it's supposed to work but they're not telling you why when are you supposed to use a blitz when are you supposed to use the blitz anybody know that when are you supposed to use a blitz go ahead put that down up in the comment section and let me know man but until then y'all said y'all want to see some shrieks uh i think hail mary would suffice do you think a hail mary would be good or what let me see you said a shriek shriek concept here i think doubles doubles should have it yep got you right here bro four verticals let's go ahead and let's just use that right and again if you're gonna go up against four verticals and you're talking about wide receiver shrieking make sure that you have fast linebackers all right your outside linebackers must be fast all right shout out to everybody that's tuning into the channel right now i appreciate y'all for watching if y'all missed anything let me go ahead and start over and tell y'all for the one time the key important things that you want to use when using man defense is going to be looking at your cornerback strength his play recognition and his man coverage rating those are the three key things bro all right now yes israel you are right on third down and first down are your main times to be using mainly blitz packages all right that's when you come out in your zone blitz and that's when you want to pretty much apply pressure all right but it has to be common sense man that you guys are using these damn plays you're not using them every down that's why y'all damn near use up your whole damn eggs in one basket because y'all y'all just showing me a hand stop doing that but hopefully with me breaking down man y'all can see that it's easy enough to use everybody can do it all right and like i said i got a man i got a cold pass scheme coming your way you know what i'm saying i got a cold pass scheme that will be dropping tomorrow i just want to make sure i spend all my time and focus with y'all today to show y'all that defense is going to be how you make it wayne what's going on man everybody check out my boy wayne six five seven eight man check out his channel brother's cold man um listen if y'all need some good plays coming up out of strong clothes that's your man to go see what's up Ant? um again my channel is all about common sense and football concepts all right how you you utilize your mind your thinking bro is how you will play in this game do not get caught up in the hype that you need a blitz every day going down do not be afraid to use man defense don't be afraid to think for yourself stop paying for these ebooks man i'm telling you that now every play that i got from last year man works this year all right why because i'm telling you football concepts but those who you who came in just now let me give the breakdown of setup man i don't want to keep talking so we're going to man align if we're using man defense we only base align when we're in zone all right and when y'all do base align base align twice so the cornerbacks can actually get out to the wide receivers most of you guys when y'all base align once y'all notice that the cornerback is always inside like he's inside the uh the numbers and that's no bueno man i'll shriek your ass all day with that so make sure that you only base align using zone and if you're using man you want to man align and that's triangle r1 then i like the triangle l1 for the sticks for my two zones in the back to make sure that they play effectively now this is where the fun part comes in you got to have quick hands get your ass in practice mode and try it out it's called shading defensive shading this is what will get you in the right the right guidance all right so here we go we're gonna go ahead shade to the outside brown right you know see how richard sherman moved his old cricket head ass next we're gonna shade crabtree we're gonna shade to the outside next we're gonna shade sneed we're gonna go to the outside left next we're gonna do boil i'm gonna hit him to the outside right all right and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play uh buckner and i'm gonna put him up on the vertical hook and i'm gonna just play the middle of the field all right just like so watch Havies, i got you next bro again as long as my guy's there he's 88 speed as long as my guy's in the area when you got that swap mechanic on and gameplay adjustments that's gonna come down but again y'all don't have to take my word for it because if i had to i'll put somebody that got speed over there and i'll show you exactly what i mean boom boom press him out there we go sneed x put everything to the outside all right 
Now I'm going to play it like so. All right. And if y'all want to, y'all can also spotlight that receiver. All right. So you can spotlight him as well as how you shaved him. You can spotlight him. Oh, heavies. My favorite team to play with up in this game will be the Patriots right now because they got two cornerbacks that got 95 speed and I never get burnt. That's a fact. All right, let's go. Come on, Flacco. Fluco. Oh, man, he just got burnt. Richard Sherman getting burnt like he was in practice. But again, that goes with the fact that Richard Sherman is not a 95 guy. He's not a fast guy. He is going to simply press. So if I'm using, let's say, a blitz, right? I'm going to blitz uh, Foster, right? You will see the speed, the throws, the miscues pick up a little bit more, all right? Let's show this out. Here we go. Y'all going to see more miscues happen whenever you send more of a, a blitz when you have five man rushing or uh, according to just three. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Oh, now he's using a running back. That's indicating, man, that we're doing something right. It's whenever they do, they take the damn short routes, that means we're doing something right. So what we need to do now, do the same thing. Actually, no, I'm going to put him back up on, on Dixon. I'm going to put him back up on Dixon like that. But this time, I'm going to leave my guy on that blitzing angle. I'm not going to even touch that angle because I feel like me taking him and putting him up in the zone is messing up the, the actual feng shui of my defensive line. And sometimes what I can do is I can spread them as well. Just like that, and then bring my corner, my uh, linebackers inside like that, and then we should get some good results as well. Let's go ahead and let's see if that was the problem. Pull back. He's looking. He's looking. Richard Sherman is just getting burnt. That that's that's up on him. That's up on Richard. Let me pull back, cause I got to show y'all exactly what I'm talking about. Cause I don't like Richard Sherman getting burnt over there. We can go back to the three four. It don't even matter. Because anytime when you see him getting burnt, you got to make miscues. You can put Richard Sherman as the, the slot. You can put him as, you know, something totally different. If your man is getting burnt, that means that you have to make that adjustment. That's up on you. So if I know Richard Sherman isn't the fastest, bro, I'm going to put somebody who is fast. I will use a kilo. But again, a kilo is not strong. So what you have to do is you have to you have to compensate for what he's not good at. All right. And sometimes, you know what? Let me put Sherman back in. Cuz I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't believe that that was the issue. Maybe I just don't even need to go ahead and press Richard Sherman. I didn't even think about that. I'm pressing Richard Sherman and that's not his strong point. What am I doing? What am I doing? Why nobody told me that? Y'all supposed to help me out too. So here we go. He can protect himself on that side. Richard Sherman, let's back you up. Now Richard's backed off, right? There we go. Put Boyle up on there. And Collins right there. All right, now let's see how this go. Let's see how it go now. This time we back Richard off. Now if Richard get burnt on this, bro, he just a bum. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even switch the play. My fault. Let's get back to that. Uh, I want that four verticals play again. But I wanted about that big nickel that I'm. I'm actually showing it against. But this time I'm not going to show Richard Sherman pressing. Remember, if you got somebody who's slow, back him off. Back him off coverage. Just back him off coverage. And most of you guys, if y'all watching and y'all playing right now, get in practice mode and do it with me. You know what I'm saying? Watch the video and do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Let's just do it together. No homo. Let's go ahead and let's do it like this. We were getting burnt on that four verticals up top. All right. And we were doing that. This. Shade. But back off Richard Sherman. All right. And then we're going just like that. Boom, boom, boom. And that is how we're going to set that up. Just like this. All right. And let's see how Richard responds. Hopefully he doesn't get his ass burned. If he get burnt on this one, bro, he just a bum. Oh, that's my running back getting getting some of that action. And and I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Again, that's supposed to be me over there helping out. Because if I have to, I'll put 
him over there up in the up in the hard flat like so. Still gonna be able to do this. And like I said, your hands are gonna get fast, just like how my hands are getting fast, bro. I'm telling you, it just takes time. And then I'm gonna be Armstead, all right? Because I still got three coming down. I still got a hard flat just in case Dixon comes out running because my, my middle linebacker isn't as fast as the running back, clearly. Then he has help on that hard flat side. I'm still going to have two of my my safeties up in the backfield protecting the sticks at all times. So I'm I'm foolproof right now. I'm going to engage with my, line, my lineman, and then I'm going to back up like that, play the middle. Beautiful. He has to make a quick throw. Put that guy right here. There we go. Shade him out, pulling back. Deshaun, what's good with you, bro? Oh shit! What did I do? What did I do? Oh, got it. Right now, man, I'm just I'm just showing different ways on how to do man defense. A lot of guys are very dis discouraged about it and didn't want to use it, but I'm I'm telling them, man, man defense is here to stay. Uh, to me, it's it's the best. I only blitz. Up out of zone blitzes, man, up on third and long, third downs, first down maybe just to show the guy that I'm not playing around with him. But, again, it's all up to you, man, on how you want to do things, man. Yeah, bro, Ali, man, that's what I had started this off with. Look at that. Now he's running. See, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about, bro. Now he's running. Team 600, man, what's good with you, bro? This is without doing any adjustments, just to let everybody know. But again, you see, I'm knocking the ball out. That's what you can bet to see in game. All right. When you see a guy wide open like that, man, especially with the new tackling mechanics, they're not going to burn you, bro. Let's let's go with the mid blitz. All right. Glad my man brought that up right away. I think I got mid blitz. Up in, uh, right here. Perfect. Perfect. I was using this perfectly, man, out of mid blitz. All right. Same thing works the same way. Now, I've, this is my first time using this. This concept with this. So if I get a blitz or something to come in, more power to me. But again, I'm just trying to teach you be better concepts. So let's do it again. We're going to go man align, protect the sticks, press. I'm going to shade. I'm going to shade square to the outside, circle to the outside, X to the outside. And that's it. And then I'm going to play the middle. Just like that. And I'm going to play the middle. Everything to the outside is covered up. All right. He, he has no run. Okay, that's cool. Ali, this is for you, bro. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, boom, boom. We're going to put Crabtree out here. But again, we're going to put circle to the outside. X, let's go to the inside. Let's shade him in to the right. And I'm still going to play the middle. There we go. That's one. That's one nice back down. And again, if you guys got a blitz up out of this, that's perfect. You guys are already halfway there. You guys can you guys can do anything to these plays. I'm just telling you, make sure that you shade. That's all I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? What I eat won't make you shit. Do what you want to do in this game, but don't be afraid to do it. A lot of you guys, I mean, y'all taking the word from other channels, man, and it's not real football concept, bro. All right? I promise you that I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm telling you. This is all Madden against the CPU random plays. I'm not going to steal you wrong. Look at this, man. I could I could have put that up and been like, man, look, I got a money play. It, like it don't this shit is easy, bro. Football is easy. We make it hard. And all I'm doing is shading my two outside guys. I'm shading them to the outside and I'm shading the uh tight end to the outside. Why am I shading the to the uh the tight end to the outside? Anybody can answer that on why I'm doing that? Can anybody answer why am I doing that? This is your time to ask me questions. Why skates? Why are you doing that? Why are you shading to the outside? I know we had one person to ask that, but I'm, I'm going to tell you. I want y'all to ask me why exactly am I shading to the outside for Boyle, the tight end? Why? Come on, Fluko. Hike the ball. And then all you got to do is play sideline to sideline when you're the running back. If you see us a run, play left or right. That's all you got to do. Duh. Perfect. Reason why I am shading exactly, Deshaun, because you got the help to the outside or to the inside. But also remember, most of these plays, not all, not all, not all, but most of these plays for the tight end are going to the outside. They're all corner routes. Have y'all ever looked at the playbooks? Most of the plays that y'all see for tight ends, 
are going to the outside. It's rare that you'll see them doing anything going, you know, um, to the inside on regular posts. People are scared to throw between a hash. All right. Unless they're in a tight formation and to stop their out routes, heavies, all you got to do is this. Take Richard Sherman, circle, shade to the right, square, Crabtree, shade him to the left. Andrews, R1, I'm shading him to the left. Boyle, I'm going to shade him to the right because he's the only one inside. Now, you see how Andrews is lined up? If you got dual tight ends like this, one's on one side, the other one's inside, shade the one to the outside to the left. Then you're going to shade Boyle to the right. Just in case if Boyle go to the left, you can help him with that mid-read and go to the left. Because remember, I'm using like this. I'm going here. Hold on, Caesar. I'm going like that. So I can play that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then we don't want to forget about the running back. So we can also shade his little ugly ass too. Shade him to the right though. Because remember, you got all the party going on to the left. So they always like to sneak a swing route over to the weak side. All right? Now, Caesar, you said to bump the tight end. Uh, bump the tight end to the outside. Yes. Bump the tight end to the outside because he is mainly going on out routes. Anytime when you see a slot receiver or you see a tight end lined up over to the left or right, they're going to out routes, bro. Remember, smash concepts. That's what that's what kills people. A lot of people like to run cover two and don't know why they get burnt. That's why. But let's go ahead and let's do it. I already got the setups going. I'm just going to play left to right. Just watch. Left to right. And it's a smash hit, boy. And I'm not saying that this is a blitz. This is just regular mid blitz. But all I'm doing is putting Smith up in the mid read. I'm hitting R1 man align because we do not baseline when using man defense. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and protect the sticks. That's triangle on L1. I'm going to shade Crabtree out to the left. Or no, it's my fault. Crabtree is a circle. So I'm going to shade him to the left. I'm going to take Andrews. I'm going to shade him to the left. I'm going to take Boyle, which is X, and shade him to the right. And again, you guys can learn how to do these setups and adjustments when you go to practice mode. Understand me doing it this slow is to show you guys what I'm doing. In game, I knock that shit out in within two seconds. All right. If you need practice on how to get your fingers right, practice on your old lady. She has what we have or what we call the P. <laughs> All right, man, I'm not going to take it there. Man. Look. I was about to teach y'all how to get y'all fingers quick, man. But look, man, what I'm saying, what I'm really trying to say, man, is you can use man defense to be confident, bro. I know that this video is going forever, but again, y'all getting the concept, bro. I can make a play out of anything. Anything. All I'm going to do is play the middle. All right, Deshaun, you caught that, bro. Look, play in the middle. Boom, another blitz. Look, man, look, can I technically call these money plays? Y'all remember how guys would do this, man? They'd get lucky up in practice mode and call it a money play because they got it in three times. Now, y'all didn't see me had a, the, the uh, quarterback throw the ball out of bounds. He done took off. He done damn near threw a pick twice. Now he's getting sacked. Listen, bro, I'm just trying to tell y'all, man, y'all don't got to make this harder than what it is. All y'all got to do is hit triangle, R1. That's going to man a line, base line, all right? I mean, not base line, press, all right? Next thing you know, I'm going to sit up here and put Richard Sherman to the outside. I'm shading him, bro. I'm shading. That's the biggest thing that you need is to shade. Shade these hoes. I'm trying to tell y'all. Shade them. Shade them. All right? Hold on. Here we go. And I'm going to play it accordingly, bro. Oh, let me, let me see. I'm, I'm going to do slants next, bro. I'm going to do slants next. There's different ways that we can attack that. We can, we can easily attack that. Because that is a perfect example right there. Richard Sherman just got slants ran on him, right? I'm glad that you said that, bro. Because that's common sense, right? When a person is using slants, if a guy is coming out in a slant concept against you, bro. Um, what's going on, David? Let's go ahead and let's try to stop slants, all right? But again, understand what type of defense you also coming out in, all right? If you're going to stop slants, you want something like nickel two, four, or five, all right? You want something like this. All right. And I'll give you guys a great setup right now that'll be very perfect for this. So you guys can come out in man blitz, right? If they come out in uh the slants, all right? I'm going to come out in overstorm. No, I'm going to come out in silver shoot pinch. Perfect, right? Cuz then we'll be able to take a blitz out and blitz the guy as he's coming in. Let's go to the concepts. Let's go to uh quick pass and we're going to go to the slant concept. Uh let's go with 
Do y'all want dual slants or do y'all want the slants like this? Do y'all want square or do y'all want X? Somebody hurry up and tell me. Do y'all want square or X? Which one y'all want me to see? And Dub, I got you next for the hit trial, bro. Do y'all want square or X? The first person that put it out, I, that's the one I'm going to do. The one that you mainly commonly see up in Madden. Which one is it? Is it square or X? All right, square is the most common one, right? Y'all would all agree, all right? So we all in favor that square is the most common one, except for Dub. Dub want to be the only difficult one and say quick slants is the one. God damn it, Dub. All right, so here we go. We're going to go with double slants, right? Easy way. And I believe uh, Black Chaos came out with this, all right, where he put uh, guys up on bluff blitzes. But I don't think that you necessarily have to do that, all right? Now, it does work. If you have a slow receiver, and I'll definitely show y'all that concept, but I want to show y'all shading, all right? So here we go. How would I do this? I'm going to go ahead and put R1. I'm going to zone all. If I'm using man blitz, I'm going to do R1 zone all, like so. Then I'm going to still hit man align, press, all right? Same concept rules. I'm still going to shade, but this time, if I know that my guy is going to hit me with slants all day, I'm going to shade to the inside. That's going to be simply triangle, X, circle, in, to the left. Same thing for Crabtree. I'm going to the right now. Here we go. Triangle. I'm going to the right. All right? Just like this. And I'm still sending pressure. I'm sending pressure. That's what we want, bro. All we need is a little bit of pressure. And if you get afraid, all right, you can easily take one of the guys that's on the line. You can put him up in a hard flat. It doesn't matter. But let's say for that purpose, we didn't have time. All right, so we're just going to go just like this. All right. Let's go ahead, Fluco. Sit still. Play that middle. Play that middle. But you want to be the disruption. It's the same thing, bro. Man align. Protect the sticks. Press. Next thing you know, I'm going to go ahead and zone all. All right, just like that, because I want the blitz to come in as well. But again, if I don't feel like... I got too many people blitzing, I can put dude up on a hard flat, up on the weak side. Because that's where I see the dual, the dual side is on the left, so I know that they got to come to the left, the right side. So then that'll give me more leverage to play with the right, I mean the left, right? So here we go. We put Crabtree to the inside, we put Sneed to the inside, we put Brown to the inside, and then that's going to allow me to sit still in a hook curl and then play the left. Let's go, Fluco. Play it, play it. Perfect, perfect. I like that because I'm telling you, in game, that ball's coming out. We're hitting aggressive. We're hitting aggressive on that all day. But let's say again, we don't get that time. I want to try it with shading to the outside. I want to I want to shade to the outside still. I want to see if that still works. I want to see. Come on now. I want to see if that works. Because it seems like it's, it's still doing its job. Here we go. Push down. This time I'm going to take, instead of putting my tight end on Sneed, I'm going to put Williams on Sneed. And then I'm going to do this just like so. And then I'll be able to use her Smith, right? You can easily do that as well. Boom. Shade left. Shade left. Same concept just in case if you don't know. Hold on. Here we go. Give me one second, bro, while I'm uh, figuring this uh, configuration out. Let me get this right. All right. Let's get it. And that's one-on-one. -on -one. Richard Sherman is holding him up. He's doing great over there. All right, he says, Skates, how do you run wide receiver and HB screen so that the receiver thrown to doesn't run in the wrong direction or at all? I clearly must be doing it wrong. Okay, I'm guessing that that's what you were saying, Lynn. Um, again, when you're running screens... All right, when you run in screen plays, you want to let the running back and everybody actually set up. You don't want to, you know, just quickly hike the ball and then throw it. You want to wait till he actually gets past the line of scrimmage and then tap the ball. All right, just tap it. All right, or bullet pass it, whatever you want to do. I tap it and it goes up in, you know, the proper play. Um, it says, do you protect the sticks every play or just third and fourth? I protect, I'm starting to protect the sticks every down, every down. Um, to defend against, you know, um, screen plays, all you got to do is the side that you see that's loaded up the most, 
swing your line, your defensive line to that side. All right. And if you're already in man coverage, that's clearly going to be another step to help you. Again, this video done took all the time that it needed. I think you guys understand exactly what I'm talking about. Um, again, if you guys got any questions, bro, or ladies, if you guys got any questions, message me. Write me down up in that comment section, all right? And y'all let me know, all right? If y'all guys, y'all need practice time. I'm, I'm always needing people to help me practice to lab. You know what I'm saying? So always be sure, man, if y'all hit me up with a message, y'all respectful and all that stuff. Of my times, I am in school. But at the same time, bro, if I get time, I will make time and I will do it for you cats. But y'all got to understand, Madden ain't my life. And it shouldn't be y'all's. Go out here, man. Understand football. Live your life to the fullest. Be something. You know what I'm saying? Don't be just the guy that's sitting up in the Go love your girl, man. Get a girlfriend if you ain't got one. Get a boy while y'all fail at this game most of the time because y'all thinking about it too damn much. Stop it. I literally stopped playing Madden so much now. I play Madden maybe two to three days. Maybe. And that's, that's splitting good stuff. Your previous video is going to speak for you. So for all those guys who subscribed to me and decided to unfollow me and all that stuff, listen, you'll be back because I know I put out great content and I know that it's going to help you out and become a better Madden player. But until then, man, stay 10 toes down to the ground, man. Keep loving what y'all do. I, I thank each and every last one of y'all for tuning in, man. And um, this was breaking down man defense. Shading, 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 shading will save your life. The next video will be about offense, and it will be my offensive scheme. So make sure y'all tune into that. Uh, if y'all want me to go live, just put that down up in the comment section below. If y'all would rather see me do all my videos live, or if y'all just want me to see them up against games. I'll try to mix it up if I have to. But until then, man, skateboarding and skates, and y'all know the rest, man. I'm out.